Hello, let's have a look at lands and wands in this video, which is one of our categories of network. One of the confusing things in this topic is we've got a few different categories or types of network. This one is categorizing networks based on their size, how big they are. And we'll look at a few others based on behavior and layout later in this playlist. So LAN stands for local area network. It's over a small geographical area, often a single building or a couple of buildings in very close proximity. Now there isn't a fixed limit, you know, if it's beyond 30 meters wide, it's no longer a LAN. It doesn't quite work like that because the other main categorization is based on who owns all of the stuff in the network. It's in a LAN, all of the infrastructure is usually owned by the manager of the network, which could be a family, it could be a single person, it could be a whole organization. So whoever is controlling that network owns all of the stuff inside it because infrastructure is a fancy word for all of the hardware and software. So this diagram is showing the possible devices we might have in a LAN. These would be owned by the family who live at this house, for example. All of it's owned by them. It's not owned by other companies as well. And this contrasts with a WAN, which is a wide area network. This exists, shockingly, over a larger geographical area. So typically multiple buildings could be a city, could be a country, could be the world. We're thinking much, much bigger here. So here, this diagram is kind of showing maybe three LANs which are joined together to make a WAN. But it's not just about how big it is. We've also got this condition about infrastructure again. So unlike a LAN, a WAN contains infrastructure owned by multiple people or multiple organizations. So we've got what is sometimes described as shared ownership here. The parts of the network are owned collectively by different people. Now, what does this mean in practice? Well, imagine you are a company and you've got offices in three different locations around a city. Well, the connections between those different locations are likely to be owned by big internet companies like Virgin Media or Sky or EE. They're the companies who lay the cable under the roads, who have fancy routers like this, which can connect up lots of networks. You as a company are borrowing their hardware and you are communicating over this WAN. And the best and biggest example of a WAN is the internet because it's massive clearly, but also we've got so much shared infrastructure involved. For you to watch this video, the messages are passing through so many different computers, so many different devices owned by different companies. It's not only owned by you or me, we are sharing this infrastructure to enable us to communicate. 